today I'm heading out on the Mississippi River chasing bass. Recently we've had some very high water and the river was basically unfishable for a very long time. But since then the water has dropped and we have good conditions again. It's still a little bit high, but I think we're going to find some fish today. I'm heading out with my buddy Neil. We're going to hit the backwaters looking for bass. We don't know where the fish are, so we're going to go find out. Come along with us for the adventure. I think we got a great show for you today. And a walleye. <laughs> okay. That's a first. That's a first. My first walleye on a frog. It's like it looks like a pike, but it doesn't. Have you ever caught a walleye on a frog? No. No, I have not. Alright. Cool. That was the last fish I would have guessed. Yeah. That walleye is having an, an identity crisis. I may fish the rest of my life and not catch another walleye on a frog. What's the oddest fish you've ever caught on a frog? <laughs> Last grip on my rod. A pretty good fish. My walleye. Spike. Oh. Smashed it. Holy cow. Perfect. I'm going to go through a lot of frogs today, I can tell. Oh yeah, that's a big one. I need some tools. I'm going to crawl up front there for a second. One of the reasons I use Booyah Pad Crasher frogs is they are more affordable. When you fish in pike infested waters with a frog, it can get expensive quickly. There you go, right, Kane? Good? Yeah. Kind of slurped it up on you as a bass. Pike don't slurp it. No. Alright. Three species. Ooh. There he is. Is that a doggy? Yeah. Uh, destroy your buzzer. I fed it to him too. He missed it. He killed it. Did you know it was a bird? No, I didn't. <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't have fed no. it to him. <laughs> There's tools back there. Green handled players. Like we are quickly off to a multi species topwater bite. We're just getting started and already have four species in the boat. I didn't hold him up for the camera. Sorry. No, that's all right. It makes for bad TV.
what to say about that. Eat it good. Yeah. I didn't expect them to be that little. No. You would think there'd be more of them biting. Neil has fished with me long enough to know that when a fish busts on my frog, it's time to duck. <laughs> I love that you know what to do. <laughs> I heard that thing. You're chopping down a tree. <laughs> In today's video, I'm using the Alios 300. It's big game toughness and its power handle make it perfect for frogging and heavy cover. To get your own Alios 300, go to PCFun.com and use promo code AnglerX15 at checkout for 15% off your order. There we go. It's frogfish. He wanted it too. Went for it like three times. There's a couple of fish in Oh, I saw that one come up. That was cool. That's what it looks like. Sun jig? To find these fish, we're focusing on areas with scattered weeds and multiple weed oh, yeah. types combined with a hard bottom. Well-defined edges with a light to moderate flow are ideal. Another giant. <laughs> really? I was gonna say, there ought to be about 20 of them in there. Funny of them that big. Yep. Did you even let the other one go or did you just <laughs> cast them out? It's moving up the score tracker. <laughs> This well-defined weed edge has a moderate flow creating the perfect ambush area. There we go. Jumping that frog right on the current edge there. Let's see if you can get the other one. Winding down here, but uh, one nice fish here to end the day, maybe. Trolling motor's running out of juice. That's the best fish of the day. Bass. 
Oh, another nice frogfish. The old thick one. Oh, he wasn't getting off. The rain gauge strikes again. Ooh, there's a good one. Oh, that's a tank. <laughs> there's a good one. Get him out of there. Oh, that's a toad. Is it a dogfish? It is a dogfish. I saw that back. I was like, oh, this is a six pounder. Well, it is a six pounder, but not the six pounder we were looking for. I thought that was a bass coming in. I really did too. Yeah, that was a cool strike. Oh, doing the death roll. Like pike, bowfin, or dogfish are very hard on frogs. If a dogfish eats her frog, it will never be the same again. You want to bend your hooks a little bit to increase your uh, Well guys, that's going to do it for today's video. We had a great day on the water. We didn't catch a ton of fish, but we caught some really nice ones. We focused on scattered weed areas with multiple weed types and a hard bottom. If you can find spaces in between the weeds, that's what fish use to ambush their prey. So look for that and I think you're gonna catch some fish. We really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We enjoyed making it. And until next time, we'll see you out on the water.